Good morning. Welcome to Seymour, Indiana, home of John Mellencamp, if you're old enough to remember who that is. This is Bob Cathy with Team Run Smart, and today we're going to talk about how to adjust your seat for because there's a lot of buttons and knobs and controls on these seats that a lot of folks don't know what they're for. First, we'll start right down here, and I am doing this inside because it's kind of chilly and there's a lot of trucks running around, so it's pretty noisy. So I am doing it in the passenger seat. The same controls are on the on the driver's seat. First one here is the fore and aft isolator. No, nope, I'm sorry. This is the shock absorber adjustment. You move this, and it and it it changes how stiff the ride is. Um, there's actually a shock absorber and an adjustable shock absorber under the seat. This is the controls for the up and down. And then of course you have lumbar, you have two, a lot of them have three for lumbar support here in, here in your back. Um, this control is for the, the seat back to change the angle of the seat back. And once you get adjusted, you can change the seat to make yourself more comfortable. You have controls here on the front this is the fore and aft isolator. It allows the seat to wiggle. When it's locked, it won't, it won't wiggle. The center knob here is the, the actual seat cushion will slide forward. Me, I have long legs, so I like to, I like to move the seat cushion forward and I have just about a hand thickness between the back of my leg and the front of the seat. That's most comfortable for me. It, uh, if I have it too far like this, to where I have too much space here, it seems to shut off the circulation to my lower legs. So when I'm sitting back, I'm pretty comfortable with it right here. The next control... Don't move your knees. <laughs> it, clear. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna rotate this seat so you can see this this control. You can't rotate the seat. There you go. Okay, so this here control is the is a seat tilt. So it's kind of hard to to unlatch, but once you unlatch it, the whole seat will tilt back like a recliner. Can you show that one more time. And. It, it will actually recline quite a bit. So if you have long legs like I do, you can recline it back a little bit to, to get the seat to support your whole leg and then lower, lower it to where, I believe the, <clears throat> they say 100 122 degree angle for your leg when, when, you're, when you're seated properly. So I tilt it back and then I adjust my seat back. I have to rotate back around here. Well, before I do, you have one more control. This, this lever is the slide for the whole seat to get you closer to the steering wheel or farther away. So, once I get the seat tilted the way I want it, Then I can get the steering wheel pulled down where I need it, reach down, move the seat forward to where I'm really comfortable, get the armrests down. I like them <clears throat> to, where the, to where I can lay my arms on them and grab the steering wheel. It just seems to be more comfortable for me. And I guess that's about it for and I'll show them how quickly I can adjust it back to me because my settings are totally different than yours are. So we can move over to the steering wheel since they've seen how the buttons work. Well, what do you think? Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to move over to the driver's side and I'm going to get adjusted into that seat as if it were my turn to drive. And typically when we sit weekends or, or a day or so, we'll We'll set the seat back to like factory settings to where everything's in neutral. So 
my settings are different than Linda's so I will set the seat for me and then we'll swap out and Linda will show you how quickly the seat can be changed to fit her as well so the seat is in a neutral position right now so I'll just get everything set up for me I'm ready to go. Linda and I will swap out and she can adjust it to fit her and you can see how easy it is. Hi this is Linda and I'm going to show how I adjust the seat before I start driving. <clears throat> I can't adjust it quite as easy as Bob does sitting in it so before I get into my seat I look I push the seat back I also rock it forward because it, it definitely puts my feet my legs to sleep if it's rocked back at all. So I, I usually pull myself forward a little bit. I like the back of my seat much higher than Bob does. So I'll do that. I uh, get my arms where I want them. Put my seat belt on. Pull down my steering wheel. Decide if that's right. And uh, now I'm ready to drive. I can get ready to drive pretty quickly. So. I also keep my little hat right here since I can't reach the visor on the other side. If the sun is coming in right from there, I will put my visor on so I can see easily. Um, so that's all it takes for within a minute it's adjusted for me to start driving. Thanks for watching our video from Bob and Linda Caffey. Uh, until next time, drive safely.